Okay, so now that we have our foot rows set up and we've added plugins to those widget areas, it's time for us to configure the size, shape, and background color and that sort of thing of the widget areas themselves. So then we could specify the foot or row height if we wished, or we can let the foot or row height just shake out based on the space needed for these things. I think I'm going to go ahead and specify the foot or row height though of 300 pixels. Save that and refresh it. And I think I want to give a little bit more padding to the top of this or margin I mean. So in terms of our widget columns I'm going to give us some top margin let's just say of 50 pixels. Say I want a nice big top margin there. Okay, so that moved that down. So then the next thing I want to do in order to help you understand what's going on here is I'm going to change the background style. Now, once you check this and hit save, a whole bunch of background choices are going to pop up. So we'll go back to our background style here. And now you can choose to put a background image in which I think I'll describe in a later tutorial. So I'm not going to do anything with the background image, but I am going to put a background color in. And so I'm going to put a nice, let's see, a blue-gray background color. There we go. And hit save. And then refresh this. And now you can see what's really going on here. The whole area here has been colored with that blue background it's 300 pixels tall it's got 50 pixels above it to the to the next piece of the page and so now what we want to do is move this stuff away from this blue background so it looks like it belongs and the way we do that then is to come over here to our widget column padding and margins so the widget top margin is the margin around each one of our columns. In order for you to see what that looks like, I'm going to actually add a background style to the column. So we're going to go ahead and check this. And then I'm going to come down here and give us a new background color. And right now I think I'll just pick a, I'm going to pick a light gray here. Okay. So this is the background color for each widget column which is different than the background color for the widget row. All right, we have our widget row background color, which is that blue-gray, and then we have our widget column background color, which is the light gray. And if we refresh this, the blue-gray has been completely covered by the light gray because they are the same size right now. That is, each widget column goes from top to bottom and from left to right all the way over to the next one. However, I can come over here and instead of doing that I can give myself some padding and margin. So let's start off with margins and let's say I just gonna, I'm going to use 10 for everything. I'm going to have 10 pixels of margin all the way around. Top, bottom, left and right. I'll hit save. Come back over and refresh this and now you're going to see that blue gray color. Because what we've done is we've taken the column itself and we've given that column margin, uh, which, which is essentially space outside of the column, pushing it away from the thing that's wrapping the column. However, because this is the slight gray color, the text is still butted right up against the edge of the uh, widget column. And so that's where padding comes in. Margin pushes the element away from its container and padding pushes the contents away from the edges of the container. So what's going to happen is the edge of the container is going to stay in the same place but these things are going to be pushed away from that edge by using the padding. So we come back over here to widget column padding and margins and now let's say we want 20 at the top and then 10 and 10 and 10 pixels and we hit save and refresh it 
And now you can see what's happened, right? This is the 20 pixels of margin or padding that was added to the top. And then 10 pixels on the left over here, I guess you see 10 pixels on the right, although the text isn't long enough for that to show. And then 10 pixels on the bottom. And again, the text isn't long enough for it to show. So that's how this works. So we've added margin around this color, uh, around the columns, and we've added padding inside the columns. And by definition, the columns are the same width. Now it is possible to set different widths for these columns, although I'm not going to review that here in this lesson.